Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot for another Love Bite. Aries, let's see what's the message here for you today. And yes, these are general collective readings, Aries. May not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Oh, okay. Mm, somebody is healing from something in hermit mode. Maybe there's been an ending. Oh, bad ending here. Okay, so Aries, somebody is watching from afar, maybe feeling very, very imbalanced, feeling things have stopped. They're not happy about this. Maybe they didn't make a choice or they made the wrong choice. Uh, somebody is in complete hermit mode right now, pondering over uh, this ending, feeling quite low, I would say, um, because they feel they've been cut off now. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course, for you, Aries. Let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person. One more. Thank you. And a few more Aries from another deck. Aries and their person. One more. Aries. Thank you. And just a few more Aries from a third deck as well. Aries and that person. One more. All right. Good to go, Aries. Let's start the reading. The first card here says, I get so effing jealous knowing that you're in bed with a karmic at night. I get sick to my stomach at the thought of you in bed with them. Well, maybe maybe somebody kind of cut the other person off because of that, because they were with somebody else. Life seems so complicated for us. My mind often drifts to, uh, to thoughts about us escaping reality to somewhere really quiet where we can be alone. You are the owner of my heart, my feelings, my soul, and my body. I belong to you. We are one. I love you. You can't imagine how much I love you. You are the kind of person anyone would desire. I know that I can count on you and I will show you that you can count, count on me too. I feel your energy and I receive your telepathy. I reach out to show you how much I care and offer you support. You read my messages and then I feel you even more. But you stay silent. Your telepathy is a contradiction to the silence. I just simply can't understand this. If you love me, then let me know and let it show. And if you don't love me, please set me free and let me go. I can tell when you are speaking from your ego or higher self. Although I love your soul, I must admit, I don't like your ego. I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. I kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection. Hurting you was not the plan. One day I believe we'll be together again. I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. So Aries, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card as always. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Aries. Peaceful. I guess somebody has cut this connection off to get peace. I don't know. But this, uh, I don't know. Maybe my angels are just sending you peace and quiet after a time of a bit of, you know, maybe cutting off from a karmic person or a soulmate who never made a decision. This is, uh, my angels are sending you peace for some reason. Let's see what that is. 
or maybe there is a possibility of a peaceful resolution at least that's what somebody wants i mean there is somebody who's still watching maybe holding back but watching from afar so spirit tell me what's happening why is why is there unrest and unpeace at the moment why is the temperance card in reverse why is the temperance card in reverse yeah i think uh, somebody here decided to take their power back and say you know what uh, this is just too imbalanced this connection is uh, not peaceful it's got too many people in the mix there's too much conflict here i'm not going to you know fight for this connection anymore uh, there is one person who's kind of stopping this connection now because they were not happy page of pentacles in reverse yeah i think the love is kind of diminishing or they maybe the person felt that there is not there is no ace of pentacles there is no ace of cups then how can this be a balanced connection and i don't want to fight for a connection which is you know all full of chaos and conflict and other people in the mix i i don't want to do this anymore i don't even believe there is any love left in it why because i think whoever the queen of swords is felt unhappy in a situation the sun was in reverse yeah i think the queen of uh, swords may have been open to love at one point but then they put a lid on that cup of love and said you know what i'm going to save it for myself uh, why because i think the person did never made a choice yeah i think somebody never made a choice and this uh, the queen of swords says you know what i can't be the only one trying i can't be the only one trying and trying and putting in all the effort uh, i'm exhausted of you i'm tired i'm going to go and uh, get into my hermit mode and heal myself maybe one more spirit for the lovers yeah i think the queen of swords is detaching now saying i'm cutting off the ropes that were that were binding me i'm no longer stuck on, stuck on a situation uh i'm going to follow my own north star and i'm going to heal myself uh after a situation never worked out or a soulmate connection is now riddled with bad memories maybe somebody never gave that love offer or never apologized for whatever they did here and there goes my phone just give me a second i'll switch it off i'm sorry sorry here is switched off now i should have done it before okay so what's the hermit spirit now hermit yeah i think some uh, the queen i think is the one who took us took some time out to figure things out it's like you know you can't um, see something right in front of you sometimes and then when you take take a step back and see the entire picture or spend some time in solitude you realize yeah what was the point there is nothing on offer here there is no long term partnership nothing here so why why am i feeling out in the cold i should just end this connection altogether put it to a death right so death card spirit what's the death card death card yeah somebody is releasing something which was which they felt was a toxic connection or a person who they felt uh, you know this person is just not opening up emotionally to me they're just emotionally manipulating me and uh, keeping me stuck in a situation and never really you know standing up for this connection or fighting for this connection uh this is probably toxic and i can't deal i can't really live in a toxic connection anymore i'm putting this connection to an end why because i think this person felt betrayed they felt betrayed they felt that their person stabbed them in the back right so 10 of swords 10 of swords they felt betrayed because their person was not moving forward with any kind of long term plans there was no commitment on on offer things were not moving forward the lights went off right now and even the queen is saying yes i've dropped this burden now umkara taro i was the only one who was carrying all the load in this connection i have a feeling this entire nine card spread is uh, at the voice of the queen of swords who's taken their power back Okay so let's give this uh, queen of swords the mic and let's see what they want to say Queen of swords Queen of swords Queen of swords says yes you're absolutely right Yeah I got stabbed in the back I was hurt in this situation and yeah somebody said hurting you was not the plan 
but they hurt the screen anyway, right? So the screen is saying, I'm done, I'm out, I've, uh, I'm moving towards new love now. I've taken my power back and uh, cut off somebody from the past who never stepped up for me. So the Queen of Swords is ready for uh, new love, it seems, right? Yep, they are not. They are. Uh, they are getting out of any connection which was either a secret connection or um, they felt somewhere the intuition was telling me, telling them that that person was just not ready. I think whoever this uh, Queen of Swords is, is actually moving towards new love now, Aries, and uh, going into a lot of happiness, a lot of happiness, moving towards finding their own happiness. So Spirit, who's this um, Knight of Swords then? I mean, this is somebody who's still spying. So who's this Page of Swords and why? What's this Page of Swords as the overall energy? Or, oh, okay, sorry. This is the Queen of Swords who found out. Either they found out that their person was juggling them or keeping things up in the air, uh, maybe through gossip or rumors or something. Uh, something came out in the open for this um, Queen of Swords. They could have figured something out, even though at one time they may have felt that, uh, you know, this is a soulmate, this is a partner, this is a, you know, di you know divine brought me this connection. But they soon could have realized that uh, their person was in it only for the fun of it or treating them like like a friends with benefits or a third party and this queen of swords has now taken their power back not just taken their power back i think they've done a lot of healing they've done a lot of healing i don't think this queen of swords is going to stay in this regret and sadness and sorrow for too long waiting for an, an apology or anything like that in fact this queen of swords says you know what i'm not going to waste any time i'm moving towards finding my own happiness and yes the divine is bringing a brand new love for the Queen of Swords. Somebody is moving into a, pe a place of a lot of peace and happiness for themselves. That's wonderful, Aries. I hope that's you. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.